don't understand. No? It doesn't seem complicated. I am the Inquisitor. <laughs> Welcome. A fate far worse than death. Hey guys, Pigwars here. And today we're talking about how to make a great villain and how to ruin them. So, in Star Wars Rebels Season 1, we meet the Grand Inquisitor. He's a menacing, cold-hearted villain who scares out heroes and strikes to, and strives to kill them all at any cost necessary. He is a great villain. But what makes him a great villain? Three things. One, you understand his motives. Two, you wouldn't want to mess with him. And three, he impacts our heroes in a meaningful way. So. Most villains in pop culture meet these requirements. Loki, Surtur, Voldemort, pretty much any main movie villain. Now, there are exceptions, looking at you, Malekith, but for the most part, the villains work in most movies. But here's the thing, just because a villain works doesn't make them great. To elevate a villain from, from bad to great takes a lot. For example, Ronan from Guardians of the Galaxy fits all three statements I mentioned earlier. He has an understandable motive, he is strong and you wouldn't want to mess with him, and he impacts our heroes in a meaningful way. But even though he follows those rules, he still isn't a great villain. This brings us back to the Grand Inquisitor. So why am I talking about him? Well, at the end of the season, the Grand Inquisitor is beaten. And instead of surrendering and facing the punishments of Vader, he says the now famous line, there are some things far more frightening than death. The one line does so much to elevate his character from just a standard bad guy to a great villain. It shows so much fear in him, and it shows that even the people closest to Vader are afraid of him. It also foreshadows Vader later on in the series, and just does great character building overall. And well, they never ever ever ruined it. They let the Grand Inquisitor die there, and everything was A-OK. -okay. Everything was great, and they never ruined it. Until they did. In 2020, the cursed year, Disney decided to bring back the Grand Inquisitor. They have him revived, and they take all the emotion of his death away. Remember how scary he made Vader seem? Well, that's gone. Remember how bold his choice was? It doesn't matter. The entire end was ruined by one comic. And the thing is, the comic was pretty good, but the fact they bring him back ruins it. Now, bringing back a dead character is nothing new, and it isn't always bad. Look at Darth Maul. They brought him back, it was fantastic. Or what about Red Skull? His return was great, but the thing about their returns is that it doesn't take away from anything. In Maul's case, it adds to an otherwise bland one-note villain. And for the Red Skull, it adds another layer onto the Infinity Stones and gives us a nice resolution to his story. But what about the Grand Inquisitor? All it does is end a great story and make it a bad story. It's really disappointing because they had such a good ending for him and then they're like, what if we bring him back again? You did it with Maul, you did it with Palpatine, and now you're doing it with the Grand Inquisitor. Who doesn't stay dead in Star Wars? And it's annoying because they really did have something amazing and they ruined it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm making custom thumbnails for my videos now, and I hope you like them. I hope you have a nice day, thank you for watching, and bye!